All right, guys, indebted one here. Uh, I got multiple boxes today. This is actually not very impressive for you guys here. This is just a um, chunk of rubber for a stock I'm building. Which, there you go. So I'm going to build a butt plate out of this. Uh, this should be a boneyard uh, 1014 shotgun, I think. one that I actually just bought for parts so by TSD okay but well, like I said I bought it purely for parts I want to see if I can modify this stock and grip to fit on my M500 um, and then maybe these shells might be kind of cool these are actually you know you load the shells and it shoots uh, no clue what's wrong with it Like I said, I'm hoping I can modify this to fit an M4 stock and a different type of pistol grip, but I just was hoping I could use these for it. Anyways, figure out what's wrong with that in a sec. Really what I'm after though, this is my big order I've been waiting for. On top, I bought another one of those M500 gas shotguns from the boneyard. Again, I'm going to assume the same thing is basically wrong with it. Uh, again, it's a black one. Again, got another set of O-rings here. Um, It looks like they remembered the orange tip this time. But yeah, you can obviously see the slide bar here is broke. So I'll be fixing those and then I assume this gun will be good to go again. Um, and then my plan was to sell this guy. So fix the slide bars, turn around and sell it. Hopefully make a little bit of money on that. Oh, what is that? Oh, this is an MP5 handguard I got for a Tokyo Mori MP5. Okay, but this guy, you guys can see there, Aries DSR1. And it's got some pretty good weight to it. I've heard it weighs about 20 pounds. And this gun and that M500 together um, weighed 39 or uh, 30 pounds, so. The manual. Here we go. Here she is. Very, very nice. So I've been wanting this gun basically since the first day I saw it. That is a tremendously huge orange tip on it. have any clue how this thing works and it definitely has got some weight to it guys it weighs a lot but you can see total prettiness I think love this gun it's got the two mags with it gosh even the mags weigh a ton uh, well, it is the bullpup design, so this is actually where it feeds from. It looks like it's going to need some assembly. There's no bolt in it right now. <clears throat> Q 
here's oh nice so they give you which I guess should be expected for a gun that costs nearly a thousand bucks but here's the nice flash hider much nicer than that big huge orange thing on there actually 338 Lapua nice uh, so here's the bolt bolt and the scope mount this scope mount looks different than the one I've seen in the pictures um, you guys want to you could go to Evike's webpage and look but this really does look different than it um, which is actually better because I didn't like their high high mount one this one looks a lot shorter I still think I'll change this and then it's supposed to come with this really nice scope and I think the scope is very similar to the one that's on my Galatz which if it is is an extremely nice scope Yeah, just you can see, it's got the Leopold trades on the bottom of it. So this is basically the exact same scope that came with that I that I got for my my Galat when I built it. Um, completely unintentional. I just bought one that I liked the designs of. Um, nice scope rings or scope covers are broke. That's not cool. And then you might get a little message about that. Um, actually, this isn't the same because mine's this looks more like a 40 millimeter, mine's 50 millimeter, uh, but it should be. See, yeah, I'm not even thinking, I don't even think this one is illuminated. And mine is actually illuminated too. So I they might have cheaped down the scope a little bit um, which kind of sucks because it's definitely not not the one that it looks like it's supposed to come with anyways uh, I might contact Evike about that um, a big part of it is the scope is so much nicer and this is not the scope that's pictured with it anyways uh, I got a mod idea I'm not gonna do a whole lot to this gun because it's pretty much uh, sick as it is um, but I am gonna um, it needs a suppressor. I might change out the bipod. I've heard this bipod is really crap. You see, it's got wobble right there. Um, so I might just put a standard hairstyle on it. Uh, but other than that, 